Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be a little bit on the dark side, with samplings of my own whispering to resemble Mandy Hartfelt's psyche breaking down piece by piece due to the circumstances that she had to endure. So, I feel I will have to give a warning here. This video touches pretty heavily on the subject of depression and the attempts of those that try to heal by either suppressing it or giving in to their quote-unquote inner demons. As someone who suffers from depression caused by being in a toxic relationship for over a decade prior to the rather good relationship I am in now, if you or anyone you know is suffering from depression and is finding it hard to heal, or if you slash your loved one is also in a toxic relationship, get help before it becomes too late. The longer you let those wounds fester, or the longer you try to self-heal, the worse it might get. Regardless, I hope that you enjoy this next video. Can't believe this. Not a single bed around. Mining ore. All just for them. was really hoping to sleep in order to get my mind clear of how to approach this Madden knock. Because I'm pretty sure that he's my ticket out of here. How long have I been at this? It feels already like hours. Yep, hours. Tired. Hungry. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna take a place by the fire. We'll see if a little bit of meditation will, uh, will clear my mind. Meditation. Yeah. By Mars Mercy. Been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. What? Raylof of Riverwood. Where am I? Jarl Ulfric? Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! What is You're this? You're not gonna kill me. Archers! How did I get Anyone here? Else feel like running? Wait. You there. Step forward. Me? Who are you? My you was one Mandy. of the trade caravans, Khajiit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Always. Captain, what? what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By I'm to be executed? Captain. I'm what sorry. For? We'll make sure your men are turned to elsewhere. Follow the captain, prisoner. I was born here in Skyrim. Are you really the hero of that? 
What have you lot done with my father? You will never see him again, fathers. Ulfric Stormcloak. Some here in Helgen call you a hero. Fact. But a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder he? his king and usurp his throne. You started this war. One Skyrim into chaos. Gregory and now the Empire Greenfield. is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, How can General that Tullius. be nothing? Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and let's eight. get this over. Our, as you wish. The eight. Don't Come on. bless I haven't got the corrupt. The gods have forsaken themselves. No god. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperial. Such a you say the same. World. Unless they were terrible right. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the cat! Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said, next! Prisoner. Death is waiting to the long Nice and easy. What in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? It's in the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What was that? What the heck? Oh. 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 That was just a dream. No. No, more like a nightmare. feel just as hungry and just as sleepy as before. This ground is not restful at all. Why, why couldn't they give us beds? Well, let's talk to some people to find out where Madnock is. Hello? Uh... What are you in for, new blood? Uh, pretty much nothing. I'm an innocent person. Innocent? So was I, for the first one. The other murders were all me, though. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. I'm going to keep that in mind. But I'm getting out of here far faster than I would serving at the stone. Where is Madanoch? If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madanoch, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Bork or the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borko the Beast. Actually, I do. Tell me who he is, though. Aside from... Well, him being the orc that's standing at the bars. Madinok's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. He's old-fashioned like that. Old-fashioned. Oh, now you know what I'm in for. 
What are you in for? A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. Why the heck did he join the Forsworn? You... <sighs> I was about to say, you should have gone to the guards and pleaded your case, but considering where I'm at right now... Very well. Why did you join the Forsworn? Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day the Forsworn will paint the walls of Markarth in their blood. Good luck with that. Have you seen the strength of those walls? And I've also seen your weapons and armor. Not exactly suiting for long-term combat, I can tell you. Uh, until next time. Yeah, indeed. Now, contrary to your advice, I'm gonna go talk to him. You must be Borkul. Pleasure. The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Well... All the killings that I have done so far have been in self-defense. Mostly bandits. Given that I'm a bard, that's actually kind of impressive. But yeah, I am no murderer. Liar. I'm going to ignore that for now. I need to see your boss. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Madanok is expecting me. The only thing Madanok expects is a bottle of skooma in tribute ever so often. You're not getting through. Very well. I don't exactly have a shift, but do you know someone who does? Then find one. That dunghy Grisvar's been known to make a few. Grisvar? Who the heck is he? Do I left you behind know? my daughter, Uale, when I was taken. Nah. You don't know. Uh, until next time. Oh, Chrysvar. You must be him. Decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Force War. I heard that you make ships. Whatever they are, they sound like stabbing knives. I need one. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma. Finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. Uh, right. That orc, I forgot his name now. He mentioned that skooma is a thing here. But I don't know about you guys, I'm not touching that stuff. But I'll be sure to get some for you. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Getting a bottle of school. Who do I need to talk to again? This trusty map. Oh, hello. Hi. Ah, 
car. It's not this way. Very good thing the guards didn't take my map. This handy little treasure. Thank goodness my father made this. Hello. Are you the skooma distiller? Other prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep it down. I hear you have some skooma. You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. I need some. Pretty badly, please. Skooma addict. Get lost. I am in no mood for games. Now hand it over. Easy there. I didn't mean nothing. Take it. Thank you. All right then. Now, time for that shit. bloody hell out of here, if possible. Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. I have your skooma. I don't give a shit about your Jarl. Give me the shit. Here's your shit. Promise you won't ever use it on me, okay? No, it's not gonna be for me. All right, then. It's gonna be for... Our good friend. Ah! Borkle, now I remember. You serve your time by digging, so dig. Okay, I say again. I need to see Madinoch. Ready to pay the toll? One shiv. Here it is. Alright, head on in. But don't try anything in there. Madinoch is smarter than you think. I bet. But I'm gonna need him. Fight well. Right. Let us see. He has a bed. Unusable. <sighs> Hello. Madanoch. Well, well, look at you. The Nords have turned you into an animal. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? What I want is my freedom, most of all. But... Mm, nah, I just want my freedom. Revenge can come later. Your freedom? Yes. But even if you were to escape Sidna Mine, your name would still be stained with all that blood. You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of the Nord stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. I believe I understand quite clearly, but I wonder, what makes you think that I don't truly understand? There's a man named Bragg inside these mines. Besides me, he's been here the longest. Tell him I sent you. Ask him why he's here. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. All right, if that's what it takes. Our struggle is our people's struggle. Gotta find this break to hear his story. You don't match his description. Ah, there you are. 
Hello, Brig. Nice to see you. Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. Madenoch has asked me to hear your story. So, please, since we have apparently all the time in this forsaken world, let's hear it. My story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? That is unfortunately none of your business. Fine, don't tell me. But I know that look in your eyes. Someone who's faced death at the hands of the law. Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? Yes. My, though my mother is dead, my father, I'm not even sure if he's in Skyrim anymore. He was on, he was assigned to a scout uh, group. Just thinking about it brings me to tears. I think he might be far from Skyrim now. I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modenak once. That was enough. But my little Aethra didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. I am so sorry to hear that. I'd hug you if I could. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. I'm just a poor forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. How long have you been here? Long enough. Till next time. Very well. to get out of here. All right, Madenoch. Do you remember the sun? Because you'll forget. Soon. I talked to Bragg. Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family. Each time a different justice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. Will you help me escape then? Yes, but I need a show of loyalty from you. I don't need a shiv in the back while we break out. Have you met Grisbar the Unlucky? Actually, yes. Rightly named. He's also a thief and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him. And then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. Very well. Remember, it was the Nords who locked you up. Since he apparently wants people to stay here, I'll cleanse him myself. you'd want to take that fire somewhere else. Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. 
threw me in here with the force one. Marinoch and the gods say hello. What? No. No, don't kill me. Please. Never should have. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's... What? Who hit me? Oh! Oh, crap. Oh, I screwed up. I've just had this extreme premonition that if I'm not careful with my cleansing flames, I will end up dying to everyone here. So. Um, don't suppose you'd want to take that fire somewhere else? You know, somewhere away from me? I'm sorry, but no. Because the gods say hello. What? No. No, don't kill me. Please! A little bit too late. Okay, nobody standing. Oh! Thing. I like you guys already. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well then, I say we're ready to leave. Oh, mad knock. The deed's been done. You're a slave, just like us. Not really. Grizva is dead. You've finally become one of us. Come with me. I think it's time I announced my plans to you and your new brothers. Even though, after this escape, I want nothing to do with you and your rebellion. I still have a greater purpose. You wouldn't have old Grisvar killed unless you weren't planning on meeting him. My brothers, we have been here long enough. It's time to leave Sidna Mine and continue our fight against the Nords. Through this gate, just beside my quarters, is a tunnel. A tunnel that leads right through the old dwarven ruins of Marka, into the city. Well, what do you say, my brothers? The reach belongs to the Force Sword! And I wish to I see Mika again. Pardon. Let's go. I'm ready. Into the tunnel. Let's go. Yes, sir. Cause I just remembered Miko. He's out there waiting for me. I'm coming, Miko! Coming home. I'm coming home because I absolutely want to see that fluffy, mad, uh, fur matted face of yours again.